Paying for stuff at the store with your wallet is so 20th century. Get with the times and just pay with your phone. Right now, PayPal QR code payments are now accepted at CVS stores nationwide. It's super easy to make touch-free payments with your phone. Plus, you get $10 cash back on your first purchase of $20 or more. Payback QR code payments are secure, convenient, and you're basically getting paid to use it whenever you walk into a CVS. To see terms and learn more about how to earn $10 cash back, go to paypal.com slash Jordan. I love it. Whenever I swing by a CVS to pick up a quick healthcare or beauty product, it's only a few taps and I'm done. No credit card needed. It works at the cashier or self-checkout. PayPal is tapping into the next level. To get $10 cash back on your first transaction of $20 or more, just head to your local CVS and pay using your PayPal or Venmo app. That's $10 cash back on your first purchase of $20 or more with the PayPal or Venmo app. To see terms and learn more about how to earn $10 cash back, go to paypal.com slash Jordan. That's J-O-R-D-Y-N. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here we go. <laughs> Ready? Wow, I don't know if you guys just heard that, but I had to rip my I had to rip my jeans a little bit more and make some more room. Girl, wow, we're here with Katie Sigmund again. Welcome back to What They Don't Tell You. She's back. Welcome back. Hi, welcome. <laughs> You're a fan favorite. Really? Yes, for sure. Oh my gosh. What have you been up to since the last time we sat down? Um, pretty much the same thing. I've been traveling a little bit. Like I went to Tennessee. And I just, like, traveled throughout, like, California to, like, Palm Springs and stuff. But Wow. Yeah, I've just been traveling. But your new dog. Oh, I forgot about Bailey. Let's talk about yeah. your dog. I got Bailey. I love her. She was very, like, like one day I was like, I want a dog. Like, I need one. Because I've been wanting one for so long. And then, like, one day I was like, okay, I'm not waiting anymore. And so, like, that day I went on Craigslist. I got her. And I got her that day, too. And so I was just kind of like, it was a very impulsive decision. But it was the best decision of my life. Because, like, now Aww. she's my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> like, were you like, okay, wait, I'm lonely, fall is coming, and I need a boyfriend, but I'd rather have a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> and you live really far away from LA, right? So Yeah, I live like an hour away. Who, like, watches the dog? My stepdad. Oh. Yeah. So, like, if I, like, come down here for a night or something, my stepdad will watch, um... Bailey, because he has dogs as well. Okay. And so, like, they all, like, play and stuff. And, like, she honestly, it's like a play date for her. Like, yeah. she, go, like, goes over there. It's like a little sleepover, and then she sees me. That's literally so cute. Yeah. My mom has, like, literally six dogs, I think. Mm -hmm. And so, like, they're literally having a play date all day long. Because really? they just never get bored of each other. Yeah. Oh, but that, this new dog that they got is an Aussie doodle. Mm -hmm. She, it's a puppy, and it is so, like, sloppy and all over yeah. the place like what's been like the hardest thing about is it a was it a puppy or no yeah so she pees everywhere but like <laughs> I got lucky because like when I went there was like five like puppies and like there was crazy ones like jumping on me and then she was just like sitting there all calm I was like I want her because I know she's gonna be calm like yeah. later on so she pees a lot everywhere, and she likes to bite my slippers. That's the one thing. She'll go through, like, because I have, like, so many slippers. She, like, they're, like, all over my apartment now. But, like, that's it. Like Wow. Yeah, she's a very well-trained. Like, I don't know, like, well-behaved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess I trained her somewhat well. I was really strict at first, but. Really? Yeah. And we then, love that. Yeah, because I didn't want her to be, like, crazy because everyone's like, oh, my gosh, like, watch out. Like, your dog's, like, you're in such a nice apartment. Your dog's going to rip everything up. And so I was, like, making sure I'm, like, extra strict in the beginning so she's fine, like, later on. Wow. Well, that's really yeah. good. So I know that you're totally active. You love going on walks and hikes. Like, do you bring your dog yeah. now? Um, I mean, I can't yet because she doesn't have all her shots. But sometimes, like, oh. I'll go to Starbucks with her and she'll, yeah. like, walk with me outside. But It's just um, like they have to stay off the grass and, like, kind yeah. of away from, like, the kettle cough or whatever. You can't drink off, like, the same bowls or, like, the other dogs. Yeah, exactly. So I, like, make sure, like, she can't go to the park yet, but on next week she'll be able to, so... Yeah. I just know that you're going to be there, like, every yeah, day. Yeah, I will be. <laughs> and then she'll be able to come to L.A. with you, too, probably. Yeah, she will be. I mean, she doesn't really like the car. Like, she doesn't like driving oh. a lot, so she needs to get used to that. But once she does, yeah. So what else is new? Anything else? Any future projects you want to talk about before we get into the girl talk TMI um, questions? I really don't have that much, like, projects coming up. I mean, I'm just kind of sticking to, like, probably traveling a lot. That's what yeah. I'm going to be doing. But nothing, like, big. Like, I'm not going to be, like launching anything soon like no so or you have to be like yo everyone stay tuned for obviously you're still posting on your site yeah and when you're traveling you're literally able to make so much content exactly So like that is literally the coolest thing because you're doing like the most fun trips yeah and you can bring a photographer or you can literally just have like yeah. Whoever do it. Exactly. But that's so cool that you're like 
able to mix like work and fun. What's been like your favorite spot or favorite location or trip you've done mm-hmm. that you've been taking pictures in and you, you're like, oh wow, like I love coming here. Like are you more like, because you've done like the Tennessee like country, you've done like yeah. Hawaii, beachy, like what's been like your favorite setting? Um, So far probably Hawaii just because I got like really like the content out there like Mm -hmm. is so pretty like I literally love it but um I love Tennessee as well I kind of like that country vibe like I want to go like over there more but I didn't I went to Nashville so it was more like a city kind of vibe city almost country yeah so I went on the outskirts of Nashville and it was fine but I want to go like just in the middle of nowhere and like just like I don't even know like run free (laughs) yeah I want to run naked and free (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> literally that's so funny but like sometimes like I'll be at home because I'm like okay I need a normal schedule like wake up at 8 a.m work out and stay at home I can't be traveling all the time mm-hmm. but then I have nowhere to make content and so I'm kind of like okay well I need to travel as like my like job, job. and so like I need to like because I'm a very like scheduled person like yeah. I like to be on a schedule yeah and like with what like my work right now isn't really a schedule it's kind of like you have to travel here get this content I mean I guess like posting is a schedule but mm-hmm. like I need to put in the time for like working out and when I'm traveling like I don't like there's not always a gym and like True. all that stuff so yeah, yeah I, I guess that totally because working out is such a big thing yeah um especially if, with what you do like you always want to look like yeah ready for pictures I exactly. guess so I bet that's hard and like People probably just think, oh, she just takes pictures. But, like, it's actually a whole lifestyle that you have to do. Yeah, I know. Like, people are like, oh, like, because all my friends, like, they don't do social media back at home. And so, like, they'll be like, oh, my God, your job's so hard. Well, like, yeah, I have to work out every day and make sure I stay in shape so I don't get hate for looking flat one day or fat or, like, it's, like, so annoying. But, yeah. And then I have to keep my... Um, yeah, I have to kind of, it depends. Like in the beginning a lot, but not as much anything like more. Like mm-hmm. it's kind of. Cause you're like, cause I am just, I'm just <laughs> a thick queen now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's cause like, I don't even know. It was weird. Like, I feel like people, when you first start getting big, that's when they hate on you. And so like, I kind of went past that phase a little bit and mm-hmm. now it's just like normal. Soaring, like coasting. Yeah. You're just driving now. You're yeah. on cruise control. <laughs> okay. Well, enough of all of that chatter. The people want to know some girl talk. Oh, gosh. <laughs> TMI questions from us. First question is, who was your first ever crush? Do you remember? Oh, gosh. Like, even if it was like, or like Even if it was, like, a person you saw on TV or, like, an in-person one. Oh, okay. Like, your first um, person that came to your mind. Like, is this, like, a real crush? Like, I like elementary, I preschool? Probably, like, I don't know. Yeah, like, probably just, like, the first person you, like, had googly eyes for. Or, like, um, little butterflies. <laughs> well, probably... In, like, first grade, it was, like, my first time um, being at school in California because I lived in Arizona when I was younger. And um, I saw this one guy. I was at recess. And, like, I don't know what it was, but I just, like, daydreamed. Like, I looked at him, and I started daydreaming. And then my friend was, like, Katie. And I was, like, what? And so, like, I had a crush on him, like, all throughout elementary school. But, like, yeah, that's probably my first crush. I don't know. I kind of like, I don't know. It's weird. (laughs) Mine makes me feel weird too. Like there was this guy in, I can't even, I think like elementary school. I don't even know if I should even say his name. I feel like it's just whatever. It's obviously in the past. And like, Mm -hmm. I just don't want to like disrespect his like girlfriend or anything. Yeah. But, or if, I don't know, maybe he's like Engage. You never even know. Like I literally, I don't even know. I haven't seen. I haven't seen this person in like ten years. Yeah. But um. Oh my God. He was. His name was Dylan mm-hmm. Straley. I mean, there was like. I was kind of in love with all of them. Like there was Dylan Straley, yeah. Ryan Paholsky, um, Mason, and I think. <laughs> like I don't know. It's just like you know, like the popular boys. I was yeah. Like, Ooh, but like I always liked Dylan Straley for some reason. Mm-hmm. And. Um, yeah, I would, I would, I would think I was just always, like, obsessed with him. Yeah, that's crazy. But he never wanted anything to do with me. So it's always awesome. the people you're obsessed with that, like, don't <laughs> want you back. And the, Dude, it's but so still annoying. to this day, it's so true. Really? Like, literally, if you put effort or, like, you're, like, all over someone or you, yeah. like, hit someone up all the time, they're just, like, this person's obsessed with me. Like, why would I? Yeah. It's, like, always the ones that play hard to get. Like, it sucks that you really have to play the games, but, like, it's back the then, only, like, yeah. he was playing them games with me. <laughs> like, we didn't even ever do anything. It's just, yeah. like, definitely, like, my first crush, but also um, Taylor Lautner. I don't know who that is. Yes, you do. From, um, um, he was also in Shark Boy and Lava Girl, but he was in Teen Wolf. You know, like, he was Shark Boy. I feel like if I see, like, a picture, I'll know. I'm really good with faces. You definitely know. (laughs) (laughs) You ever see Teen Wolf? No. Okay. I mean, I didn't either, but I know he was on that. Okay. 
Whatever. Next question. <laughs> um, do you believe in love at first sight? Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I don't know. but no. Because I, like, need to know the personality beforehand. You're um, like, you can get looks at a first sight. You're yeah. like, okay, you are yummy looking. Yeah. But now I need to get like, to you. Like, you have potential, you. but I need to know your personality. Ooh. I feel like I can have interest really fast. Like, yeah. yeah. I, I have, like, interest at first sight. It's like, mm-hmm. okay. I'm going to date you or I'm going to marry you or you are, like, the hottest person in the whole world. Yeah. And then, yeah, you have to obviously get to know someone. Yeah. So I guess the answer is kind of no because it's not love. Yeah. It's more of, like, a Intriguing. idea of love. Like, you're like, oh, this person could be that. Yes. Versus, like, you don't know if they're actually like that. Yes. Yeah. Amen to that. <laughs> have you ever used another person's toothbrush? Um, actually, yeah. Actually, I did. yeah. <laughs> I did last week. I spent the, I did last week. <laughs> I spent the night at my stepdad's and I forgot oh. my toothbrush. <laughs> okay, I didn't. <laughs> no. So I used my mom's, but like, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not going <laughs> to say my story then. You guys can do what you want with that information, but yes. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was, um, a last resort and I think I'd rather... You know, they're clean. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, I mean, I washed it. Like, yeah, if you I can, used to, like, I literally, like, just kind of clean it before I yeah, use it. Yeah, you can clean it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm awkward. Okay. <laughs> this is not a girl talk, so I don't even know if I really want to even ask this, but it's whatever. People probably want to know this about us anyways. What album can you listen to until your death? Oh. Um, um, probably Morgan Wallen's album. I don't know what it's called, but, like, I know the music. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, the album. Like, yeah. the whole... Um, like the whole project, like I never know what albums are like called. I only know like songs. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. I'll go to like a certain album and it'll be all the songs I like. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So Morgan, what was it? Morgan never... Wallen. He's like a country artist. Oh wow. Yeah, it's like soothing music. Because if I like do like pop, like you'll get over it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Fast. Mine is um, Goodbyes and Good Riddance, Juice World. 100%. Oh really? Mm-hmm. I like. I mean, I listen to it every day. Every oh, day. No way. For. Since it's probably came out, I listen to it every day. Really? Yeah. And you never get like sick of it? No. I like, I saw this <laughs> I saw this Instagram the other day. I was like, I listen to the same music every day, just in a different order. Like I'll shuffle oh, all yeah, Juice World that. songs, but mm-hmm. I don't know why I have this like obsession with Juice World and like his music just it, like it, like I do not get sick of it. It's the weirdest thing. I listen yeah. to the same. He has four albums, I think, and mm-hmm. I listen to them just on repeat all day yeah. long. I, I get sick of songs like. My friends always say this, like, I am obsessed with, like, one song for, like, a week and only listen to that song. Or, like, I would say, like, three songs. And then I, like, repeat them for a week and then I hate them. And then I go through another three songs. Yeah, like, that's what I do. Totally. And I feel like everyone our age, do you agree with this, that people just go on, like, Apple or whatever. And if it has a star next to it, they listen to just those ones. Mm -hmm. And no one listens to full albums anymore. But, like, me, I listen to... When an album comes out and I'm really excited for it, I listen to it from top to bottom in order. Oh, really? Decide what I like, and I yeah. add certain songs to my playlist. I can't do that. Really? What do you <laughs> I do? I mean, maybe if I went on, like, a long drive, like, I would listen to all of them. Really? But I, yeah, I just, like, pick the top ones. I'm like, okay, these ones are the good See? ones. See? Yeah. <sighs> Sometimes I'll be on TikTok, and it will be, like, a random video that it's, like, a really good song, but it's not popular, and I'll, like, like it, and then, like, add it to my playlist. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. But, like, most of the songs I do listen to are, like, the mainstream ones. Paying for stuff at the store with your wallet is so 20th century. Get with the times and just pay with your phone. Right now, PayPal QR code payments are now accepted at CVS stores nationwide. It's super easy to make touch-free payments with your phone. Plus, you get $10 cash back on your first purchase of $20 or more. Payback QR code payments are secure, convenient, and you're basically getting paid to use it whenever you walk into a CVS. To see terms and learn more about how to earn $10 cash back, go to paypal.com slash Jordan. I love it. Whenever I swing buy a CVS to pick up a quick healthcare or beauty product. It's only a few taps and I'm done. No credit card needed. It works at the cashier or self-checkout. PayPal is tapping into the next level. To get $10 cash back on your first transaction of $20 or more, just head to your local CVS and pay using your PayPal or Venmo app. That's $10 cash back on your first purchase of $20 or more with the PayPal or Venmo app. To see terms and learn more about how to earn $10 cash back, go to paypal.com slash Jordan. That's J-O-R-D-Y-N. Did you know that in the last Last year, rates of anxiety and depression have doubled in the U.S. These days, it can take weeks to get a traditional therapy appointment. Thankfully, Cerebral is here to help. Cerebral is an online mental health service that offers prescription medication, counseling, and therapy for anxiety, depression, ADHD, insomnia,
insomnia, and more. A couple people who I've actually had on my show have talked about their personal experience with things that they've been going through, especially since quarantine and COVID and not being able to see their family. So I just really hope that this will help all of you guys. And I really want you guys to try it out. With the Cerebral mobile app, it's like having your personal care team wherever you are. Connect with your counselor and therapist on your own schedule through your laptop or the Cerebral mobile app. They offer affordable treatments that are one third of the price of traditional therapy. Treatment options are available with or without insurance. Right now, get 65% off your first month of medication management and care counseling at GetCerebral.com slash Jordan. Go to GetCerebral.com slash Jordan for 65% off your first month. That's just a total of $30 to get started. Join Cerebral on their mission to make quality mental health care accessible and affordable for all. Oh, are you ever so busy that you can't even shave your legs at home? This is personal for me, okay? I have had such a stressful month that I kid you not, I have a mom bag in my car and in my purse, I have like a small little baggie. I have one of these razors in my mom bag, in my shower, and in my personal purse. Like car, purse, home. Anywhere I go, I have one of these. And I also have one at like two of my friend's houses. But anyways, I am just obsessed with clean shaved legs, especially before you go to bed and in those sheets. Just thinking about that makes me happy. Guys, little little things in life make me happy, but I've been obsessed with the Gillette Venus. It's like such a cute color too, but I have other colors as well. So I just wanted to put you guys on and talk about my favorite things about the Gillette Venus razor. <laughs> so this one is the Venus for pubic hair and skin razor. It's optimally spaced out blades to allow the razor to cut hair while barely touching the skin. This razor minimizes irritation in the pubic area where the skin is delicate and the hair is coarse. The skin smoothing exfoliant is great prior to shaving or in between hair removal days to help protect against cuts. Their two-in-one cleanser and shave gel protects skin from irritation during the shave and can be used as a shave gel or as a daily gentle cleanser. And the Daily Smoothing Serum helps maintain skin hydration and reduce itching. Check out GilletteVenus.com to learn more about why these products have been flying off the shelves everywhere. Go get it. Trust me. <laughs> what do you think is your like ideal age of being engaged? Oh, um, probably like 25, maybe 26. Mm -hmm. I, I think feel. I agree with that. Yeah. I used to think, meaning used to like five months ago, I was like, oh, I'm ready tomorrow. Yeah. But now that I've taken like a step back and I am alone, it's just like, wow, I can't believe I was in that mindset. Yeah. Because I feel like you're in that mindset until you're not. Yeah. Because I literally, like, I could have been engaged, like, yeah. right now. It honestly or... just depends, like, what situation you're in. Like, yeah. Yeah. But I feel like the ideal age is, like, 25, 26, or, like, yeah, average. I, I agree. Like. Yeah. And then marriage, how long do you want to be, like, engaged for? Like, two That's years, hard. three years? Probably, like, two years, yeah. I feel like. Because once we're, like, engaged, it's kind of already, like, yeah, you're, okay, let's get it done. Let's tie the knot. Let's play in the wedding. <laughs> Ooh, how do you know when you're in love? Um, when I can see a future with that person. Like, I don't know. I've, like... Mm -hmm. I've been in love with the idea of a lot of people, but not actually in, like, love Ooh, with them. yes. Yeah, so, I don't know. I just, like, I have to have a good connection with them. I have to be attracted to them. I have to, like, they have to be a good, like, father figure, like, good with kids, good with animals. I don't know. They just have to be, like, good with their family. Yeah. And then I, like, fall in love with the idea of them. I'm like, okay, I could. But I don't know if I've, like, I mean, I fell in love, like, once in high school, but, like, I really don't know if it was actually love. Like, I say it is, but I feel like down the road I'm going to find someone and they're going to mm. show me what real love is. I, I feel like I agree with that because yeah. I've been in, I mean, like, even my first relationship, I said, like, I love you to him mm -hmm. and second and third and fourth. But I, yeah, I guess I don't really know. Because, like, with that first boyfriend, I was like, oh, wow, this, you know, like. Yeah. But that was, like, the young love, like, the puppy mm -hmm. love. The first love, kind of. Yeah. yeah. And it's just. I think it definitely, everything, every love, every, for me, love has stages, and I mm -hmm. feel like I've almost been through them all, Lucky. and, <laughs> yeah, so it's just, like, how I know, though, I think it's when, yeah, I can definitely see a future with the person, mm -hmm. and I feel like being, like, someone making me feel safe, someone making me feel confident, Yeah. someone 
going someone I guess like I also am like a very like prove person like if you love me like prove it like mm-hmm. I like actions speak than louder words. than words yeah. yeah so and I know that there's a saying that's like when all of your emotions are surrounded by this one person like that mm-hmm. kind of means that you are in love yeah but um yeah how about like how like, do you know you like somebody um I always like the people that like hit me up at first and I'm like oh, okay like maybe and then like yeah. I'll like text them back and then they start like slowly not hitting me up and then mm-hmm. I'm like wait come back and then I like like them for a little bit mm, yeah as soon yeah. as see as soon as they like I'm act like, like they're not interested wait you're not interested in me <laughs> wait I'm obsessed with you yeah literally like I'm like okay like maybe like I'll like hang out with you and then they like stop texting me and I'm like what? Like, you hit me up yeah. first. It's so annoying. But. I feel like my, the, how I know you like someone is if you start to notice that you think about them more, you're caring about yeah. them, you miss them. Say if you're not with them or they're far away or whatever it is and you're like, I miss them. Yeah. Because I feel like that's a stronger feeling than a lot. Yeah, feelings. and that's, like, with the texting, like, oh, I'll be like, oh, I miss them texting me. Like, why aren't they texting me? And then I exactly. realize, like, do I like them? Like, and then, yeah. Yeah, when you're, like, sec- you're, like, wait, they didn't hit me up. Or, ooh, when, if they, this is bad, mm-hmm. and I should work on this, but it's, like, almost, like, my mood is depending on whether or not they've texted me that day. That's so bad because same. Right? <laughs> you're, like. It's so bad. You're literally, like, sad and, like, you literally want to, like, yeah. stay in your bed. I know. Until they text you. Yeah, and then you're like, okay, I'm good. Let's get my day going. Yeah, but then you don't respond for, like, two hours. Yeah, just so, So, like, like you have two hours of, like, oh, it's the best yeah. day ever. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> literally get some ice cream. I relate to that so much. That's why I, like, try and, like, not catch feelings. Because, yeah. like, I, once I like someone, I will like that. I'm a very, like, loyal person. I will like that person for, like, three years. Like, if I, like, I get obsessed. Like, it's bad. So, like, I, like, I'll have these stages where I, like, am interested, but I don't really like them. Yeah. So, I don't know. Okay, I guess same. Like, I, I definitely feel like I'm not a simp for anyone right now. Like, I'm definitely emotionally unavailable, but at the same time, I, like, I definitely find myself doing what I just said and, like, yeah. missing someone or, like, thinking about someone. And then mm-hmm. I was like, wait, no, 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 Jordan, back it up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because I'm literally trying to be single. Yeah. Girl. Chill. <laughs> I feel you a lot. I've been single for, like, four years, so I kind of want, like... Yeah, you need... Yeah. <laughs> I like, need a relationship. You got a dog. It's fine. Yeah, but I have a dog, yeah. Okay, next question. I like that question, the whole... Because I feel like everyone asks about love, but, like... Yeah. Is there anything that else that we can, I guess, say about, like, you know how there's, like, the sneaky links and there's the situationships in yeah. L.A.? I'm recently single, and I guess I could have advice from you, too, right now, because mm-hmm. I have never been single and 18, ever. Like, mm-hmm. I was always in a relationship, number one. Number two, I have, like, always just been, like, a relationship person, and I feel like in 2021 and, like, being 21 now, I feel like... No one is looking for something real. Yeah. And everything is, like, a hookup or something, which luckily I haven't, like, had that yet Mm -hmm. where I've just been, like, talking to someone and they've, like, swerved. Mm -hmm. But, like, what have you found with since you've been single for four years and, like, people in L.A., but, like, you're also not really in that. So, like, how have you found this, like, situationship and, like, what have you learned from it? Honestly, I don't know. I don't really, like, like this generation at all. I think it sucks. This sneaky yeah. link thing. Like, either you want me or you don't. Like, Okay, I agree, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't like... I don't chase, I attract. Yeah, literally. I don't chase, I attract. Like, I hate when, like... <sighs> I don't know. I don't like how, like, girls are treated these days. Like, I feel like guys are just kind of like, oh, I want to hook up. Okay, bye. Once I, like, do hook up. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. But with what I've learned, like, um, I don't know. The next guy I date is probably going to be the guy for me because I'm very, like, picky. Like, mm-hmm. I need to make sure, like, because I've been through so many, like, situationships where I'm like, oh, this is the one. No, they're not. I just think that because I ignore all the red flags. Like, and I've realized every single red flag before I even, like, like a person now. Mm-hmm. And so I'm kind of just, like... Like, I'll have interest in you, but if I see a red flag or something, I completely lose interest. Like, it's just, people, like... People can't change, and you yeah. can't change them. I, mean, I know, and I realize change, that the hard you can't way. change them. Exactly. Yeah. Because everything... When you're changing someone, it's temporary, for sure. Yeah. It's because they are trying to be with you, or they are trying to please you, and then as soon as you're pleased... 
Yeah. It just goes back to their old ways. Exactly. They show, like, one side of them and then, like, a completely different side of them down the road once they're, yeah. like, more comfortable with you. And or I feel kinda... like girls don't do that. Yeah, girls you right get away. You get what you get. Yeah. No, girls are, like, right away. They, like, show their true emotions. But I feel like guys hide it for a little bit. Like, say a guy really likes a girl. He's going to act different and be, like, super nice. But then, like, he could really just be, like, a dick. Like, And then he, Literally. like, shows it later down the road. Yeah. Because he, I don't know. And I feel like you really, it's crazy because, like, I'll, like, talk to my friend about a guy and he'll be mm-hmm. like, oh, I hooked up with him. Or, like, oh, I've kissed him. And, like, another, I go to another friend and they're like, oh, it's just, like, literally everyone has just been with everyone. I know. I don't like that. I don't either. Like, the last time I think I hooked up with someone was six months ago. Like, I don't wow. like hooking up with people. Yeah. It's just not my thing. I don't know. When I'm interested in someone, like, I'll kiss them. I'll make out with them. Like, I've kissed people, but I've never actually, like, hooked up with someone in, like, a while. Wow, yeah. Yeah. (sighs) Yeah, I was just, like, it's annoying because, like, how we were talking about the whole, like, like thing and then it's just like everyone is just like playing games and then yeah. as soon as I don't I feel like it like, at all like yeah. I'm over it I'm so over it yeah and, and so now I just like days. yeah just I have my dog like I just focus on myself like yeah exactly I'll like text people but like I don't really like I don't know like I don't even really like like going out that much anymore I yeah. think it's my dog <laughs> like literally because I'm always with her but it seems like that's all you need yeah yeah I've just Try to focus on myself, so. Get a dog. <laughs> yeah. Would you date someone if your dog didn't like them? Oh, well, the dog <laughs> would have to like them. <laughs> so, uh, no. Well, Bailey is very, like, um, lovable. Lovable. She likes anyone, even if they're, like, mean, which is kind of bad. But honestly, yeah, date someone if. Actually, I don't know. Because maybe, like, dogs sense, like, bad Ooh. vibes, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're like, wait, Bailey, you got me? You got yeah. me on this red flag? Yeah. Um, I would say, I would I would honestly flip the question, like, what if the person didn't like your dog? Oh. Right? I don't. I don't, no. I don't think that would be cute. No, I wouldn't date someone that didn't, like, like my dog. Yeah, because that's, like, something that you, like, picked out and you, like, yeah. love. And, like, it's your everything. And then the person's, like, your dog is so ugly. Or, like, why? Yeah. Because that, like, shows, like, they don't like your taste. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think... I, don't I just I feel can. like I wouldn't appreciate it, or I'd be, like, a little standoffish. I don't know if it would, like, get in the way of, like, okay. Because obviously, like, yeah. maybe if you didn't like me at first and I can, mm-hmm. like, make you like me, yeah. then maybe you like me. But, like, maybe it's the same way with the dog. Like, learn her personality. Maybe yeah. you think she's cuddly. Give it a chance, I yeah. guess. So I guess my answer is, yeah. It's a red flag for sure. <laughs> yeah. But and like we're I wouldn't to ignore those. I mean, yeah. we're not trying to ignore those. <laughs> I wouldn't like not have a relationship with that person because yeah. of that, though. But it's definitely a red flag. Too many red flags lead to not having a relationship. So that's just yeah. like a point. <laughs> True. Does your partner and your best friend have to be different people? What do you mean, like? Okay, like a lot of people say, like, oh, your partner's your best friend, and then like that person is like two aspects of your life. But a lot of people say. You need to have, like, a best friend and a partner. Like, say, I don't know. Would you have, like, a guy best friend and a partner? No. Yeah. I would make sure, like, my partner is my best friend. Because, mm-hmm. like, I don't know. Like, connection is, like, key in a relationship. Yeah. And if you don't really have a connection with them, you're, like, going to your guy best friend about all your problems. But then, like, you have your, like, boyfriend mm-hmm. as kind of, like, just the guy you're, like, all cuddly with. I feel like that's more of, like, mm-hmm. lust versus love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, I feel like I... I had a tendency, not with my, like, last relationship, but I, like, shut a lot of people out in my other ones yeah. to where, like, I missed that, like, best, whether it's a girl or it's a guy, like, that best friend. I feel like you need, like, you're found, like, the people around you are really important. And, like, for me, I I don't think I can be, like, a, I can't be dependent on, like, one person because if they, like, yeah. left, now I feel like I would be, like... It would, like, ruin you. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like I would just have to have, like, as much people around me as possible. Yeah. And, yeah, like, my partner is, like, my best friend because we hang out and, like, mm-hmm. we're doing fun things. But I feel like your partner is more, like, you're, like, mature. Like, they help, they hold you to a a standard and they make you better and then like you have fun like complete like yourself yeah. which I guess people can find that in 
both, mm-hmm. and I have two. I don't know. I'm just saying that I feel like I just need as many people around me yeah, as possible. Yeah, I want, like, my boyfriend to be my best friend. Like, that's my number one person. Mm-hmm. But I would definitely want, like, a bunch of, like, friends. Like, yes. I want to keep all my friends, but I'm not going to have, like, a guy best friend and then my boyfriend and then all my friends. Like, yeah, 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 I guess. the guy will be, like, one of my friends versus, yeah, like, my boyfriend is, like, my best okay, friend. Okay, yeah, 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 I guess, totally. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, city boys or southern boys? Southern. Definitely southern. For sure. I don't know like Which what I, it is with me recently, but like <laughs> I don't like I don't know. I can only do like southern. I just I don't want I don't know. For me it's like LA makes people very depressed and anxious and mm-hmm. they are always trying to be famous. And I feel like if you find someone that's in your space or slightly understands it, but at the same time yeah, is just normal or, like, I'm from a farm. Like, Michigan is so important to me and, like, just being, like, free there and, like, I don't know, it's completely different. And, like, that is where I'm, like, my happiest and I feel like yeah. that's the same way with a guy and I just want them to be at, like, the best happiest stage or, like, atmosphere. Yeah. And I feel like that's important to me. Because it's important. I, I yeah. feel like that would be important for me to have a person like that because it's important to me to have, like, my home base. Yeah. And I feel like that changes a lot of people, like, just yeah. being out in L.A. For sure. I feel like Southern boys treat you a lot, like, better. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That just might be a totally. myth. But, like, I mean, with what I've seen, like, the like guys, movies. like, <laughs> yeah, like, the city boys will text me be like, what you doing tonight? Like, blah, blah, blah. But then, like, I'll have a boy, like, from, like the Southern boy. And You're they'll like, be in like, Tennessee five <laughs> weeks ago? <laughs> yeah. But they'll be like, um... <laughs> I'll just be like, oh, how was your day? Like, what are you up to? Like, do you want to hang? Asking me during the day to, like, get to know me and not really just, like, get in my pants. Like, I feel like city and southern, that's just how it is. Like, there's obviously some people that, like, like, I don't know. It's just, like, majority, that's kind of how it is, I feel like. This week, I've literally had a, how was your day? And I've literally had a 1 a.m., W-I-D. Same. And Literally. Two, like, and one of them is like Southern Boy and one of them is Southern Yeah. Boy. Guess same. which one? <laughs> yeah. No, totally prefer same. the how's your day at 5 or like 3 p.m. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Or good morning. Like, what are you up to today? Like. Yeah. I could. <sighs> yeah. Not. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That is crazy. <laughs> okay. Did you just get a first tattoo that you want to talk about? Yeah, I actually did. I got one right here. For, wait, last time I feel like you said you weren't going to get a tattoo. I don't or did know. did you say that you were going to get one? I don't know. I forget. But, like, I used to be very against tattoos. Like, I okay. was like, oh, like, I don't really want them. They last forever. But, like, the small dainty ones I feel like are so cute. Hello. Yes, yeah. What does it say? It says breathe. It's like, okay, a lot of people are like, what? But, like. They're, like, basic. <laughs> Um, I have like really bad anxiety and Mm -hmm. so like my main thing is like just breathe mindset is everything and I couldn't just get like mindset is everything it was like too long and so another thing I think about is like okay I just need to breathe and calm down because I'll freak out like and sometimes I freak out and there's nothing going wrong like I just like I can't talk and I'm like okay like what's going on and so I just realized in my head I need to breathe and I just need to like live life I can't just like always worry about what could happen I need to like wait until something actually does happen Mm -hmm. in order to freak out which I still shouldn't freak out. But, like, I don't know. That's just how I am with, like, yeah. yeah. That's important. And I feel like with the words, it was hard for me to get. I have one, um, only one, like, thing of words. Oh, no. Because I also have Dolly. But, like, mm-hmm. they have to be, like, so important for me to get, like, a word on my body forever. Yeah. And um, I feel like we both did, like, you know, really nice yeah. lifelong words. Yeah. So do you like, have any plans to get any other ones? Yeah. I really wanted to get um, angel numbers somewhere on me, but I'm waiting until I have like that because like they always change. And so when I have like one that I see like all the time, like for years, I'll probably well, get Well, it's that. your birthday. I'll tell you what your angel number is. Um, August 2nd. you have 2nd, a specific one. 2002. Wait, really? Yeah. You have a specific one. Yeah. You can see the numbers all the time, but you as your like self, mm-hmm. um, you have a. Oh, no way. Mine's 999. I wonder what mine is. I feel like mine would be like eleven eleven. I see that everywhere. So like one or one one one. Yeah, angel number calculator. Calculate your angel number. Okay, August what? August second. What's your year? Two thousand two. Five five five. So really? Five. So this is what it means. The angel number sequence of repeating fives often appears at a time in your life when you are going through or about to go through a lot of changes or transitions. These changes may be positive or negative in nature, but either way are likely to bring uncertainty with them. 
At these times, the angel number 555 is a reminder that the guardian angels are with you to guide you through the unfamiliar times. Although there will be a lot of changes, there will ultimately be good for you and make you stronger as you accept them. Oh, wow. So 555 is your angel number. I do see that a lot, but like it depends what like what I'm going on with my life. I see 1111, 222 a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, I see today I have like a group chat with my friends. It's mm -hmm. called Angel Babies. And so today I saw 111 and like, or 11, 111 p.m. And so like I text them at 111. And then I was literally, I walked, this was, so at 111 p.m. I texted them that. And at 140, I was at Starbucks and I saw like my stars yeah. was 111. So I like, we always yeah. do that. No, I like when I was in Tennessee, I did see 555 and 444 a lot. It's 444 right now. Ah, are you serious? <laughs> so weird no i'm not even joking oh, i, I see like text my friends 444 <laughs> i see angel numbers like at least 10 times a day and like honestly i never realized it until like this year when i started like actually like learning about same. them no same it's crazy you, i like, know you don't see something until you like know about it and you don't yeah it's like when you hear about so a food oblivious. or a word yeah and then after i've heard that word i start mm -hmm. hearing it more yeah jeez that's crazy. It was four yeah. for four. Because I was thinking in my head, I see four for four and five 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 a lot. And then that just I was happened. like, wait, it's four 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 right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> I know. Imagine it was five five five. Oh my okay. gosh. I think we only have like two more questions. Have you ever been banned on TikTok? Mm. Yeah. So what is mm. that like? <laughs> Or how many times, I guess. I can't even count. Like, I, the first time I did get banned, my whole account got deleted. And like um, all the videos? Everything. I've and never so, had that. Luckily, I was at a dinner where I had, like, one of my friends was able to contact or give me a contact to, like, get my account back. I got it back. And then once I started, it was fine. And then once I started, like, OnlyFans, I posted a video on TikTok. I was like... You know that one, I forgot what it was. It's like, I ain't gonna do it, girl. Mm -hmm. I did it. That trend, I did that without saying what I did. And like TikTok realized what I was talking about, even though I didn't say it. And so they deleted my whole account and I got it back because I like contacted the person that I had before him. And then ever since then, I like shadow banned, shadow banned and banned every week. And then there was this period where like I would get banned and then I would post because I would email her and be like, hey, like, can I get my account back? And then um, like 24 hours, I get banned again. Like it was like I even if I didn't post anything like every 24 hours, it was like a glitch where I got banned. And so I had to deal with that. And then it turned like to like three days and then it turned to like a week. And I was so over TikTok. I was like, seriously, like I don't even like like I went to the point where I only posted my face. I didn't even like enclose post my body. I was like, OK, like, can I just like have my account back to normal? And now it's like slowly getting back to normal. But like I'll still get banned. I can't post in a bikini. I can't post in anything. Like even if I'm like wearing like a shirt that like kind of shows cleavage, like it'll get banned. Like I have to be very careful. It's like a PG-13, probably like a PG-8, even if that's possible. Years old. <laughs> Like, I'm not even joking. It's PG, so PG, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Dang. I, yeah, I've never had that happen, but yeah. I have had videos be, like, under review, and then they just get posted. One time, actually, I can't even say that because <laughs> people are going to go Google it, but one time something really bad got out there, <laughs> and, oh, like, it didn't even, like, get caught. And, really? Like, yeah, and, like, you can't even post in, like, clothes, and, like... <laughs> No way. Yeah, it was bad. That's crazy. And, like, I had to go in and delete it. Like, no, and people will post my Instagram posts and, like, they'll, like, fan pages will, like, post about it and they'll do, like, they'll go on TikTok and do fine and some of them even, like, blow up and stuff and, like, so TikTok definitely sees it. Mm -hmm. But then if I posted that, it would get taken down. Like, it's just my account. It's weird. And, like, even my spam account got banned, like, completely deleted. Like, they know my, like, two accounts. And so it's I... It's so annoying. Yeah, right now my spam's deleted because I posted a TikTok wearing leggings and a t-shirt crop top. <laughs> My stomach was showing, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It's so annoying. It like sucks. actually. Yeah. At least that's not your main thing. Yeah. Or I guess like you're not your main source of income because that would literally. Suck. Yeah. That would suck. No, that would suck. What made you I guess you probably answered this in the first one, but for people who didn't see it, what made you want to make an OnlyFans at the age of 18? Mm, honestly, I was kind of, like, talked into it. I, ne I never really wanted to. Mm -hmm. But um, what I was posting on Instagram, they were like, oh, you can make money by posting this on OnlyFans. And I was like, okay, a way to make money? Cool. Like, I guess I'll do it, even though it's, like, a bad reputation. And then it, like, turned mm -hmm. into posting more. And it just kind of, like, I never, like, I don't know. I never show anything too much. But, like, I definitely post, like, 
pretty some scandalous stuff. But it kind of just, like, slowly got to that point. It was never, like, oh, I'm going to start an OnlyFans and post this, like, right away. Yeah, it's, it kind of happens. Yeah, it just, like, happened. <laughs> so you now, is it basically all up to you what you post? Or are you still having people be, like, oh, more, more, or, like, less, less? Like, what is it? Um, I just, honestly, up to me, like, what I want to post. Like, That's good. Yeah. Probably I mean, gets you in a better headspace. Yeah. Instead of having people be like, just wanting you to do things for that. Yeah. No, I haven't worked with someone ever since then, and it's been a while. Okay, so it's all you. Yeah. Literally. That's good. Yeah. Can you ride a motorcycle? Mm, I've never tried. I mean, I've ridden a uh, dirt bike. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's kind of the same. Yeah. I've never, like, been on the street with a motorcycle, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would you ride one? Um, <laughs> probably not for my safety purposes yeah same I love four-wheelers and my brother rides a dirt bike mm-hmm. and I just feel like it's just not safe like yeah it's definitely not worth it there's been too many like no things going on with that it's like I don't know so yeah she doesn't know how to but she's willing to yeah I mean I'd probably try it out but I would never yeah. actually like ride it constantly exactly oh my gosh Ew! What? Just someone said, <laughs> it's her legs made out of Nutella. I love to spread them. See, that's what I mean, but... <laughs> that's what I mean, you I don't wild. like... Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. It's like the L.A. boys. The Southern yeah. boys never. <laughs> um, how does it feel to be this... Ew, I'm also not reading that one. That's just rude, you guys. Ew. What did they say? Oh, I love this one. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? <laughs> um... <laughs> Wait, who's Sebastian? Sebastian. As I said, I saw your TikTok with him. Are you dating Sebastian? Sebastian Tope? Yeah. Uh, no. no. He's just a really good friend. Yeah. He is? He, I, oh, my gosh. He made a duet with me. Oh. And, like, okay. yeah, it wasn't even, like, anything. But everyone's like, oh, my God, you're dating when you make a video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, why? Oh, what do you look for in a man? What do I look for in a man? Um, loyalty. If they're active and they if they have, like, a certain drive to, like, do things. Like, if they're, like, lazy and just sit in bed all day or, like, mm-hmm. broke and, like, kind of just do nothing. Like, yeah. they need to be, like, productive and have, a, goals. like, goals. They need you, to have goals. You love a um, you love a successful man. Yeah. Successful, loyal. Loyalty is my biggest thing. Mm-hmm. Like, number one. And then, yeah. They just need to be successful. And, like. I remember you saying that you want, you like, a good body. Like, you like when someone's yeah. put together. and Yeah. Hygiene. Yeah. I yeah. love hygiene. <laughs> yeah. They can't be, like, yeah. They definitely need that. Stinky. Yeah. <laughs> Who was your favorite collab? Um, Jordan Jones. Yeah. Actually, honestly, that was my favorite collab. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because I didn't. Ex- beside from you. <laughs> no, because I didn't really, like, I don't really collab with a lot of people. I kind of did everything on my own. Even when I was out here and in, like, a content house, like, I did, like, make videos with people but I never like did big collabs on Instagram or like even like anything else so like you were my first like collab on Instagram I think mm. and like I'm pretty sure yeah you were like my only collab wow yeah I know it, it was weird how we like because I don't do that either like I literally really I I literally don't do that I've done it with you and Riley oh no way or it's like a meetup like photo shoot like I yeah have a, yeah, you guys are my only two. Yeah, and I mean, like, collabs, I don't really know if it counts if, like, you're hanging out with friends and make a video together. No. Yeah. So, I like, mean, it does. It does. That's how a lot of people look at it. But for yeah. me, it's, like, we, like, did a whole yeah. little collab. Yeah, like, so. that's probably, like, yeah, my favorite. Okay. So. <laughs> Love it. I was like, I just needed that reassurance. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. I think we have two more questions. What is your, like, normal gym routine? Normal gym routine. Um, I like to do the stair steppers for my warm up, mm-hmm. and then I'll do like squats, hip thrusts, deadlifts. Um, hip thrusts are like key, I think. Yeah, the like main thing. And then I love going in the steam room and just like sitting there for like thirty minutes. Mm, and, steamy. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it depends. Like when I go to dog pound, it's always different. Um, but when I'm working out like on my own, like that's just the main thing I do. And I'll do back, but I don't really like. I don't have a routine. I just kind of do what I feel needs to be worked on. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like once you once you know what's the best for your body, and yeah. honestly, like, I think your workout routine is going to be different for you, for everyone. And so yeah. it's literally just, like, what you see progress in, what you don't see progress in, how much you can do, exactly. how many sets. I feel like it is all up to you. So, But, like, for me, like, if I went to the gym, I would need to go, like, follow a video or a trainer because I wouldn't. I literally would not be able to walk into a gym right now and be like, 
oh, I know what to do. Like, I would literally yeah. want to start. I remember when I first um, went to the gym, like, by myself, and, like, I thought everyone was, like, staring at me, and I was like, oh, my gosh, like, this is so bad. Yeah. And, like, I didn't know what to do, so I went on the easiest machines and, like, just kind of did whatever. Machine. <laughs> machines. <laughs> um, yeah. But then when I had a couple of my guy friends go to that same gym, they kind of showed me what to do. Yeah. And, like, people would still give me dirty looks, and then I just kind of, like, got in that mood where I was like, I don't care what you think. Like, I'm going to give you a dirty look and just, like, even if I'm doing it wrong, I'm yeah. doing it right in my head. So, yeah. like, I was just kind of over it. And, and then, then I, like, look at me now. <laughs> yeah, so I get that, but. Okay, last question. Ooh, do you have a belly button piercing? No, I don't, actually. Do I you want to get any? I have ear piercings. I have two. Um, I don't think I would. I don't know. Really? Yeah, like. I don't think mm. I would either because my sister had or has or had one, and it's, like, I heard one terrifying story, and oh, really? it's one too many. Yeah. They get caught on things, like... Yeah. Even my like earrings, like, they get caught on things, like... I, like, brush my hair, and, like, it just, like... <laughs> oh, my gosh, it hurts so bad. So I don't feel like I would get any more, like, piercings. Maybe more ear piercings. Mm-hmm. Like, I like that. I think that's cute. See, I got two more or three more ear piercings, and, like, they just got <sighs> infected. You couldn't sleep right, like... Yeah. I guess for the first couple, like, weeks, it's bad. But then after that, I feel like they're cute. But is it even worth it? For me, True. no. Yeah. For me, no. Like, I just... Especially, I'm, like, hair covering it. Like, you don't really see it unless you're, like, taking a picture and, like, do, like, yeah. the perfect angle. I always have my hair up, literally, so yeah. that doesn't really bother me, but... And I know it is cute, and if you can go through that pain, for me, it's pain, Yeah. <laughs> then it's worth it. But any more tattoos or anything? Um, I'll probably get more tattoos. Okay, I'm not going to because, like, I realize it's probably not a good idea. But at first, I was going to get a tattoo, like, on my ass and have it be, like, my initial. Because, like, you know, uh, people, like, impersonate me. And I'm like, okay, well, I want, like, people to know it's me. So then I was going to do that. Kind of, like, as, like, a little logo thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing it, though. I don't think it's a good idea. But, like, it was a thought. You should just buy, like, you should have someone make you a temporary tattoo yeah. pack. Put it on, and, like, if you ever want it again, you can put that temporary on. Yeah. But that would be so funny. When I'm, like, 50, I would not want that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a really yeah. cute idea for right now. Yeah. Especially because, like, your photos will be posted on other sites. Yeah. And they'll know it's you. I mean, easily people can just edit it out. Like, I don't know what, like, I'll post in a bikini, and they know how to edit out my bikini where it looks like. And they'll no post reason. it and make it th- make people yeah. like, dude, I swear, like brands, like if they were to like Google me and type in like Jordan Jones naked, there is so much that comes up that is literally Fake. like, yeah, they're called deep fakes, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like there's a name and there's people that do it and it, it's so weird. If someone were to just Google that and they don't know it's fake. Yeah. Guys, I have never posted like that ever. Yeah. And I swear brands will like probably look it up and probably mm. like, wait, she's Awesome. Yeah. Step away. Yeah. Well, it's annoying. It's, it is. Yeah. Like, people will be like, oh, you got this posted on Reddit. I'm like, that's on my Instagram. They just edited it. Like, literally. literally. Yeah. Freaks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That wraps up today's interview, you guys. Where can they find all of your, you know, tags, at everything? Instagram is Katie Sigman with two Ds. And then TikTok is Katie Sigmund with two S's, like, right in the middle. Yes. And that's it. All right. (laughs) Thank you for coming back for round two. Of course. Make sure you guys add us to your playlist on Spotify, rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts, and guess some What They Don't Tell You merch on the Podcast One site. Also link down below, and I will see you guys next Thursday with a new episode. Bye.